Antarctica is the least understood and most mysterious of Earth's continents in the 21st century. Many people today don't have a clear understanding of its true size or shape, often perceiving it as a sprawling, misshapen blob at the bottom of our two-dimensional maps, if it's displayed at all. In reality, Antarctica is the world's fifth largest continent, larger than Australia and Europe, and closer in size to South America. When overlaying it on a continent we're familiar with, like North America, its true scale becomes apparent. Antarctica is significantly larger than the continental United States, with distances across the continent comparable to the distance from the Canadian Arctic Islands to Mexico. If placed over Europe, Antarctica would stretch from Norway and Finland in the north to Iran and Iraq in the southeast, and past Ireland into the mid-Atlantic to the west. It's a massive, almost entirely uninhabited place. Antarctica's population ranges from about 4,000 people during the warmer summer months to as few as 1,000 during the long, dark, and extremely cold winters, when night envelopes the continent for months and temperatures drop below minus 34 degrees Celsius. The harsh weather isn't the only factor keeping the population low, its remoteness also plays a significant role. The nearest large human settlement is Ushuaia in southern Argentina, about 1,000 kilometers from the Antarctic Peninsula. This distance is separated by the infamous Drake Passage, one of the roughest and most dangerous parts of the world's oceans. Here, the southern and Pacific oceans flow unobstructed into the Atlantic, allowing winds and currents to gain strength and create waves up to 20 meters high during extreme weather. Human eyes likely didn't see Antarctica until the 19th century, with the first recorded discovery by a Russian ship in 1820. Even today, we understand very little about this isolated continent, especially what's beneath the massive Antarctic ice sheet. Ice covers over 98% of the continent, with an average thickness of more than 2 kilometers, reaching up to nearly 5 kilometers in some places. This ice sheet contains 61% of the planet's freshwater, and if it melted, global sea levels could rise by around 60 meters, causing catastrophic flooding. Due to the ice's thickness and inaccessibility, we know more about the surface of Mars than what's beneath Antarctica's ice. We use radio echo sounding to visualize what's below, flying planes over the ice and analyzing radio wave echoes. However, this technique is expensive and time-consuming, and less than 10% of the continent has been mapped this way. Despite limited data, we know that Antarctica isn't a unified landmass beneath the ice. If the ice melted, the Antarctic Peninsula would become an archipelago of mountainous islands, while Greater Antarctica would resemble Australia in size. Greater Antarctica is made of ancient igneous and metamorphic rocks, while Lesser Antarctica consists of younger sedimentary and volcanic rocks. Lesser Antarctica is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, with volcanic islands beneath the ice. Mount Erebus, the highest active volcano in Antarctica, has a lava lake in its summit crater and last erupted in 2020. Temperatures around Mount Erebus can drop to minus 62 degrees Celsius in winter, creating a harsh environment. However, beneath the surface, volcanic activity has carved out ice caves with temperatures reaching 25 degrees Celsius, potentially warm enough to host unknown forms of life. In 2017, a team from the Australian National University collected soil samples from a cave system beneath Mount Erebus. Upon analysis, they found DNA traces of algae, mosses, and intriguingly, small animals potentially living in this subantarctic oasis. While most animal DNA matched known surface species, some did not, resembling arthropods like shrimp, centipedes, or spiders, suggesting undiscovered species might inhabit these warm caves. There are 15 other active or semi-active volcanoes in Antarctica, possibly harboring similar ecosystems, hidden beneath the ice. Planes using radio echo sounding have mapped out a vast landscape under Antarctica's ice, revealing valleys, riverbeds, and hills similar to other Earth terrains, all frozen in time. One remarkable discovery in 2019 was the deepest canyon on Earth's land surface, located under the Denman Glacier in Greater Antarctica, plunging 3.5 kilometers below sea level, about the average depth of the Atlantic Ocean. This is almost half as deep as Mount Everest is tall. Comparatively, the Dead Sea's shoreline is only 413 meters below sea level. This Antarctic canyon is eight times deeper. 
Another fascinating feature is the Gambertsev mountain range, discovered by Soviet researchers in 1958. These mountains, similar in size to the Alps, stretch for about 1,200 kilometers and are buried under more than 600 meters of ice. In the late 1950s and early 60s, a large gravity anomaly was detected in East Antarctica, indicating weaker gravity than expected. In 2006, researchers from Ohio State University, using NASA and German Aerospace Center satellite data, hypothesized this anomaly to be a 480 km wide meteorite impact crater, buried beneath the ice. This crater, if confirmed, would be the largest known, far exceeding the Chicxulub crater, which contributed to the dinosaur's extinction. The asteroid that formed this Antarctic crater would have been 40 to 50 kilometers wide. The crater's age is estimated between 100 and 500 million years, possibly coinciding with the Permian-Triassic extinction event 252 million years ago, known as the Great Dying. Antarctica also hides around 675 subglacial lakes, discovered since the 1990s. The largest, Lake Vostok, was found by Russian researchers in the 1990s and is located 4 kilometers beneath the ice. It is the sixth largest lake globally by volume, larger than Lake Michigan. Despite being below freezing at about minus 3 degrees Celsius, geothermal vents keep it liquid. In 2012, Russian scientists drilled into Lake Vostok and found both known and unknown bacteria, though initial samples were contaminated. In 2020, researchers discovered unknown bacteria species and an rRNA sequence similar to rock codfish, hinting at potential fish species in Lake Vostok. A sea drone with a camera could potentially reveal more about this mysterious ecosystem. A similar event in 2021 saw scientists find amphipods, shrimp-like creatures, thriving in an isolated underwater cavern beneath a glacier, suggesting other unknown life could exist in Lake Vostok and other subglacial lakes. Antarctica's hidden resources are also significant. The continent likely holds vast deposits of oil, gas, and coal due to its ancient, warmer climate. In May 2024, a Russian research ship discovered a massive oil field in the Weddell Sea, estimated at 511 billion barrels, twice the amount of Saudi Arabia's reserves. This discovery, in a disputed area claimed by the UK, Argentina, and Chile, raises concerns about future exploitation despite current international laws prohibiting such drilling under the Antarctic Treaty. Antarctica's extreme remoteness and harsh environment have historically deterred most from attempting to explore or claim it. However, in the early 20th century, seven countries, including New Zealand, Australia, France, Norway, the United Kingdom, Argentina, and Chile, made territorial claims on the continent. These claims were often based on nearby territories, such as New Zealand and Australia's home territories, France's Crozet and Kerguelen Islands, Norway's Bouvet Island, and the UK's claims to the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands. Argentina's overlapping claim with the UK was rooted in their sovereignty over the same territories, while Chile's claim was based on its mainland proximity. By the mid-20th century, Territorial disputes among these countries risked escalating into conflict, coinciding with the broader Cold War context. To address this, 12 countries signed the Antarctic Treaty in 1959, which aimed to preserve the continent for scientific research and prohibit military activity. The treaty also banned nuclear testing and waste disposal, and established an inspection system to ensure compliance. The treaty froze existing territorial claims and allowed any country to join and set up research bases regardless of other claims. It also forbade resource extraction or prospecting. Today, there are over 55 research stations across Antarctica, with the US's McMurdo station being the largest. Argentina and Chile have established permanent civilian settlements, strengthening their claims by sending pregnant women to give birth there. This led to the first human born on Antarctica, Emilio Marcos Palma, in 1978. Territorial disputes extend beyond Antarctica. The UK and Argentina also dispute the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands. The Falklands, with a population of about 3,600 British citizens, have been under UK administration since the 1830s. This dispute reached a peak in 1982 with Argentina's invasion, leading to a 10-week war that the UK won. 
Despite the conflict's resolution, the discovery of 511 billion barrels of oil in the Weddell Sea by Russia could reignite tensions, as this oil could be worth around $44 trillion. The Antarctic Treaty, up for review in 2048, could change the landscape if countries withdraw to exploit resources. Climate change is making access easier, and states might be tempted to drill for oil, despite current prohibitions. If Argentina improves economically, it might challenge the UK's control over the Falklands, weakening the UK's Antarctic claims and bolstering its own. The future of Antarctica, particularly regarding the oil field, remains uncertain, with the potential to significantly alter global power dynamics. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.